Hey guys, HTV here and welcome back to another video going over Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, the brand new Switch games coming to us this year. Now of course, a trailer for these new games did just drop the other day and they give us quite a lot of information for us to pick at. There's a lot of really cool features that are introduced in these games, are things that we've wanted for a very long time and some that we've just never really seen before. There's also some pretty bad ones as well. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the top 5 best new features features that we can find in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and then in tomorrow's video we're going to be going over the worst new features. Now of course this is all my own opinion at the end of the day and it's completely cool if you guys disagree with what I say in the video. Don't hesitate though to drop a comment down below about the video and if you found it interesting or not. Don't forget to leave a like on this video too to show your support and be sure to bring out a new video very shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date and follow my Twitter to updates about the channel. Both of those links can be found in the description down below. Now without further ado, let's get into the video and take a look at some good features that we can expect to see in the brand new Pokemon Switch games. So starting things off and claiming the number 5 spot in today's top 5 video is a feature that we have wanted for a very very long time and it is finally back, it is Pokemon following you. But not just Pokemon following you, it seems in these games because there's only 151 Pokemon in them as well as a little bit of a load of Pokemon thrown in as well for a bit of you know fun and games. Um, there seems to be a lot of animation presented for all these different Pokemon so yes they do follow you but they all follow you in like different ways like Electro rolls, Nidoqueen kind of like stops behind you, Onyx is a huge Pokemon and you can actually ride Onyx, you can ride Charizard, you can ride Lapras. I like the fact that every single Pokemon is super unique in the way that they move and everything like that in these games and I think it's going to give the game a feel that we've never seen before. I just love the fact that they're following me again and it's just not even that like obviously with the different games you've got Pikachu and Eevee Pikachu goes on your shoulder Eevee goes on your head I love how the walking and the running and the swimming animations for all of these Pokemon is super fluent it just really really looks nice of course I can't show the actual videos because of copyright and stuff but I can definitely show you screenshots of the different Pokemon that do follow you it's just like every single Pokemon follows you in this game which is just amazing one of the reasons I loved Heart Gold and Soul Silver so much was because of the aspect of Pokemon following you I just really like the fact that they've been given like their own personal way of doing it in these games it looks really nice it looks really fresh and it's a really cool feature to see back in pokemon let's go pikachu and pokemon let's go eevee Coming up next and claiming the number 4 spot in today's top 5 video is kind of still talking about what we've just spoke about but it's just the fact that the graphics as a whole look absolutely incredible. When I saw this trailer for the first time of the day, my eyes just lit up. I was actually speechless at how good these games look. Yes, a few people will say the games look kind of childish but at the end of the day, these games are for a broader audience. These are aimed at everyone, not just your competitive players, not just your shiny hunters. These games are to get everyone involved which is why they've got so many aspects from Pokemon Go in there because a lot of people still play Pokemon Go that might not play the main series games so if obviously there's a lot of linking and stuff like that they're more likely gonna pick up a Switch and buy the new games and vice versa you're more likely to play Pokemon Go if these games are you know a lot to do with those games so I guess that's why they've done it but the graphics just as a whole look insane and I've just never seen a Pokemon game look as good as this one does not only that though we also have customization for our start Pokemon whether you pick Pikachu or whether you pick Eevee they both have available to them different clothes that you can actually dress them up with which is awesome it's such a cool little feature to add into the games you can buy like hats for them clothes things to go on their tails their feet their arms sunglasses everything like that there's just so many ways of customizing your character now I don't know if you can actually customize your player character in these games I'm not too sure we'll have to see later on closer to the time that these games are released but as of now we know that you can dress up your starter Pokemon, which is such a cool feature and I'm a big fan of that but yeah the graphics look amazing I love the start of Pokemon customization, just some really cool features that we can expect to see in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Coming up next and claiming the number 3 spot in today's top 5 video is a feature that we've wanted for a very very long time and it is multiple save files in the new games. Now it's not going to be like where you click on the game and then it's going to have like save file 1, save file 2, save file 3. That's not going to be how it is uh, because you're a game I have tweeted out saying the info from the post conference Q&A with Game Freak you can have separate saves in Let's Go. By using separate accounts on the Switch so you and your sibling or a friend, something like that, 
don't need separate copies of the game for you both to play. So all you need is multiple accounts. And obviously you can make multiple accounts on the Switch. So say I wanted three save files. I'd have my main account and then I'd make two more accounts on the Switch and then just play the game with those two different accounts. Meaning I'd have more than one save file. So yes, it's not as easy as just having save file one, two and three. But at the end of the day, it's still one of the features that we've wanted for so, so long. And the fact that it is finally here is just incredible. You don't have to buy multiple copies of these games just to be able to play them more than once. Now, obviously, that is going to lose Nintendo a little bit of money, but I'm pretty sure they're going to make enough from these games anyway, especially with more games coming on in the future for the Switch. It's going to be an amazing time to be a Pokemon fan, but I'm just super happy about this news when I did see it because, like I say, it's taken them more than 20 years to finally have this as an option, so it's about time, Game Freak. So thanks so much for finally making it a reality. But yeah, Safe Files is a really cool new feature that we are all very happy to see, which is why it claims the number three spot in today's top five video. Coming up next and claiming the number two spot in today's top five video is a feature that I didn't think I'd ever see in a Pokemon game, but it's actually co-op. Co-op is now in Pokemon games. I don't even know how to think about that. I don't even know how to process it. I'm not sure if it's only going to be available to these games, but co-op is in the games now. You can actually have a friend come over and you can play local play with each other. Again, it's not online, which is a little bit, no, 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 not sure about that. But if you have like a sibling or a friend that comes over a lot, you can literally just both play the game at the same time. And there's a lot of features that come off of that co-op as well. Like you're both throwing Pokeballs, you're traveling around together. Like I say, I'm not sure if it's going to be implemented into the next games and then with an online feature. Maybe this is just kind of like a test period. Put it in these games, see what it's like. If people like it, then roll it out as an online thing. That would literally be one of the best things to ever come to a Pokemon game that I've ever personally seen. And it'd just be amazing. But yes, co-op is a feature that I did not expect to ever see for these games. But it is so cool that they're finally here. It's a little bit annoying that they're not online, yes. But at the end of the day, it might just be a test and then they might be rolling them out next year or the year after or something like that. But yes, Pokemon co-op is in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. It looks amazing as you can see from the screenshots on your screen. I'm super excited about it. It's a really cool feature for the new Switch games. Finishing things off though and claiming the number one spot in today's top five video isn't actually necessarily anything to do with the new games, but it is the fact that a new title is coming in 2019. So there's a lot of information about this that we will go over right now. So anyway, Pokemon did tweet out themselves saying with Pokemon Quest and Pokemon Let's Go, there are so many new ways to explore the world of Pokemon. Trainers can look forward to even more with an all new core series Pokemon RPG title in development for the second half of 2019. So this is Gen 8 confirmed, pretty much Generation 8 is confirmed. So in 2018, we're getting obviously this Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee thing in 2019. We're getting Gen 8, and then it wouldn't surprise me if in 2020 we're getting Diamond and Pearl remakes, which would be absolutely insane. Let me just say, I'd be very, very happy about that. But uh, not only that, they did also state, um, Eurogamer did tweet out saying that the 2019 core RPG Untitled, it obviously is untitled yet because we have no idea what it's going to be called, is set to be in the style of X and Y and Sun and Moon. So I'm not sure what style they're talking about because they're both pretty much different games. One has gyms, one has trials. Unless they put them both together, that would be kind of crazy. But uh, it's just kind of funny how they didn't have Auras or Ultra Sun and Moon in those as well. It's just X and Y and Sun and Moon. So I'm not sure what's so special about those games, but we'll have to see. It also then goes on to say that this should appease competitive players with Let's Go aimed at a broader audience, a core RPG for everyone. So basically, the new Generation 8 game that is going to be released 2019 is going to be for like your competitive players, your hardcore fans, anything like that. And then the Let's Go games are kind of being there for everyone to play, which just makes sense. It's a smart move on their part, you know, whilst all this Pokemon Go hype still around, you know, try and get as many people playing Pokemon in the main series and then release Generation 8, which is going to be by far the best Pokemon game we're ever going to see. Um, and it's going to do wonders and it's going to be incredible. They just want as many people to be on board for that as they can. And I think this is definitely the way to do about it. I know this is a feature video for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. It's just there ain't no there aren't that many features that we can see just from Ron Trailer. But this is definitely something that I want to talk about in this video because, you know, it's, it's a new feature. It's a new game, though. It's, you know, it's a brand new generation. That's something, right? But uh, big fan of the fact that that is coming in 2019. And then, like I say, it wouldn't surprise me if in 2020 um, we're going to be getting down on Pearl But we'll just have to see. But with that though, it does wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you did enjoy the video though, please do leave a like. I would really appreciate it. 
Like I said at the start of the video, I would also love to hear your guys' opinions too on this subject, so be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I do have a couple other videos coming onto your screen in a second, so be sure to give them a watch if you do have the time, and also subscribe if you do enjoy my content. Remember, tomorrow I will be bringing out my top 5 worst new features for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, so be sure to subscribe so you are updated when that does go live. That is everything from me though guys, thank you so much for watching, have an amazing rest of your day, and until next time, peace.